Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today let us discuss the problem subarray with the zero sum. So now let's talk about the intuition of this problem. The solution of this problem is not intuitive. Okay, let me just tell you. If I don't write out something, you won't really be. It would be intuitive enough. So if this intuition was not coming into picture, that's absolutely fine because the solution is not intuitive. But it is a easy problem in general. So let's talk about this problem. It is told that we need a subarray with the zero sum. Okay. So at this point, if it is asked that we have something like four. Two, negative three, one, and six. If you observe that, if you add up these three, then this would just sum up to the subarray zero. So now the only thing to notice here is that, okay, the first brute force is that we would be taking out each subarray as having the value. If any of the subarray equals to the value zero, then it would be an answer. An optimized approach would be that we would write the prefix sum. So prefix sum is a prerequisite here. Okay. So if I write the prefix sum of this, the very first number would be we don't have any element up till this point. So we have four. Then we have four added to two that is equals to six. Six added to three would be equal to three. Three plus one is equals to four, and four plus Six is equals to ten, and the point where we have a subarray with zero sum is this one. Notice something here. Okay, let's just see more. So now let us say that we have an array something like five, three, two, minus one and minus four. And then six and three. So if I write the prefix sum of it, so now if you observe, the very first value is five. Five added to three is equals to eight. Eight plus two is equals to ten. Ten minus one is equals to nine. Nine minus four is equals to five. And five plus six is equals to eleven. Eleven plus three is equals to fourteen. Okay. So now, if you observe. That this is the segment which contains the prefix sum with the zero sum. If you observe in both of this, you would see a strange thing that this number is this number, and this number is this number. Why is this? Because if what is prefix sum? Prefix sum is sum till this point. Sum till this point. So let's say if the sum till this point is x, and this whole value, this whole sum is let's say zero. Whole value is zero. Then at this point, the sum would be x because x plus zero. Up till this point, it was x. Up till this point, up till this point, the value was x, and then we add zero to it. So in the end. It would have it would be x only because x plus zero is equals to x only. So I can safely say that while doing the prefix sum, if I am seeing the same value again, then that value is subarray with zero sum. Because let's say the idea is very simple. Let's say I am a human being. Okay. Let's say I started going to the gym. Okay, this is me. I started going to the gym, and my weight was fifty-seven kgs. Okay, I went to a marriage in my uncle's marriage. I ate something out of it. I gained one eight. I gained one kg, and then again I gained two kg. Then I started. I came and I started running. And in the end, so my net would be that I'm again standing at fifty-seven kg. Why? Because the contribution of this is zero, so if I am seeing the same weight of mine after some days, like let's say this is first of December, which was my birthday, so everyone forgot to wish. So this is let's say fifth of December, okay. So I would say 
that the contribution to 1 to 4th, the contribution of weight from 1 to 4th is 0 because my weight remained constant. So just we are using this intuition that the, that the value would be constant. Okay. So I would just say I saw here this, I saw here this. So the contribution of all these days was nothing but 0, neither negative nor positive. And that's it, my friend. That would be done. So we would be, so I need to remember if I have seen that value before or not. Okay. So in programming, whenever we need to remember that we have seen some value before or not, there are two steps to it. Either you just trace back and see if this value was present. The very next step is you start to memorize. Like I can just, just keep a feed in my mind that yes, I have seen this value. And that's it. We would just hash out all the prefix sum values and that would be done. So I would be making this as just A because I'm a very lazy person. So I would be using here as unordered map to hash the values. Unordered map of int comma boolean to just tell me if this I have seen of this value before or not. Now I would say int sum is equals to zero. Okay. Now we would start on the iteration of this. So for auto e dash a, this is just so I would just write the general syntax, not this. Int i is equals to zero, i is less than n and i plus plus. I would first add it to a of i. And I would say if mp of sum is before hashing only, I see as a true value. Like I have seen of this value before, I would return true. If till the end we were not able to find any repetitive values, I would return false. But there is a small flaw in this, that is this test case. The test case such as 3 and minus 3. The values, the prefix sum values would be 3 and then again 0. But we have not seen before. But see, this is a 0 sum sub array. So, if we are by chance seeing any 0, that if at any point sum is equals to equals to 0, or mp of sum is equals to true, then we would return true. At the end, we would just also just hash the values. So this was a small addition for this small corner case. Now I'll just compare them and see how many errors are they making. So the value seems correct. Now let us try to submit this and see if we can get an easy or not. So that's it for today. Thank you and have a nice day.